It's finally complete! After weeks and weeks of burning the candle at both ends, literally, my first clarinet concerto is complete and ready to be performed. No! Now, I'm flummoxed. Hit it one more time, Patrick. Don't want anyone stealing it. Perfect. All right, what's going on out here? I can't even hear myself think. Ooh, ooh. Can you smell yourself think? No. As I was saying, you two. Or see? No! Oh, how, how about taste? Can you taste yourself this? Shut it! What are you two dingbats doing? We were just posting Patrick's new for rent sign. We worked on it all morning, see? For rent? You mean one of you is moving out? Ah, no! Patrick here is just gonna rent out his front yard. Need a little extra cash, if you know what I mean. Wow, to think this day started off so horribly, and now, what do you mean you're just gonna rent out your front yard? First come, first served. Oh, great. Now another idiot can move in. Oh, Squidward, that reminds me. Patrick and I are off to Jellyfish Field for the day. We were wondering if maybe you could stick around and keep an eye out for any takers. Oh, I would love to. Just let me check my place. Planner. Uh, thanks. Oh, no, I'm sorry, I can't. Oh, uh, why not? Well, because I was planning to do no such thing. See? Okay, well, thanks anyway. Yeah, thanks. Well, with those two bone brains gone for the day, at least now I can finally get some peace and... Quiet. Now what are you two boobs up to? I thought you were gonna... Huh? Well, if they're not here, then I wonder who could have been making all of that... Hello. Huh? My name is Howard. Hello, Howard. I noticed this for rent sign. Is this yard still for rent? Sorry, you're too late. Hmm. Howard is disappointed. Yeah, well, aren't we all? This looked like it might have been a wonderful place to pursue my passions. Passions? Painting. Painting? Playing the bassoon. The bassoon? And enjoying a glass of tea in my front yard. Enjoying a glass of lack of love in your front yard? I can hardly believe what I'm hearing. <laughs> Finally, a neighbor with some culture. Oh, I can only imagine. Painting portraits while sipping tea. Recumbent bicycling to a museum. Playing a concerto together at the Bikini Bottom Philharmonic. Farewell. I should have known all this was too good to be true. I was just kidding. Okay, well, in that case, I guess I'll move in right away. Wonderful. Make yourself at home. Oh my, his design sense is impeccable. Oh, I do feel right at home. Okie doke then. I'd like to propose a toast to my new neighbor. New neighbor. While we're on the topic, what are the other neighbors like who live around here? Yeah, other neighbors. Yo, oh, they're just like any other neighbors, I suppose. Well, that's perfect. I'm the type of person who likes all kinds of neighbors. That is perfect. Well, as long as they're not jellyfishers. <coughs> I can't stand living near anybody who jellyfishes. But luckily, they're not the worst type of neighbor. Yes, that, that is lucky. 
bat would be the bubble blowers. <laughs> Between the jellyfishers and bubble blowers, I just couldn't stand to stay in my old neighborhood anymore. Well, rest assured, Howard. <laughs> you, you'll never even notice the neighbors around here. Well, that's a relief. Yes, uh, isn't it? La 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 la. SpongeBob, look! There's a mobile home parked in front of my house! Patrick, do you know what that means? <gasps> I'm a landlord! <laughs> oh, hell, a landlord! <laughs> hey, SpongeBob! Yes? Why don't we go knock on the door and meet the new neighbor? Great idea. Oh, no. What's going on? Is somebody there? No, no, there's nobody at all for miles around. Well, are you sure? I thought I heard voices. No, nope, there weren't any voices. Perhaps it's just the other neighbors coming to meet me. We'd better open it up and have a look. I can't let you do that. Well, of course you can. They're your neighbors, too. No! You really don't want to go out there, trust me. You're hurting my arm. Oh, I'm sorry, Howard. I was just hoping you and I could, um... Could what? Could, um, uh, take advantage of this peace and quiet and, and perform a little duet together. Just the two of us. With each other. You know, you on bassoon, me on clarinet. Together. Why, that's a splendid idea. I'll get some sheet music. Wonderful! Did you see the way those curtains jerked shut? Yeah, our new neighbor must be really shy. Well, maybe we should just come back and meet him later. Whew, that was close. Good idea, Patrick, coming back later. Thanks. Besides, we have more pressing matters to attend to. Like what? Like this new jellyfish we befriended. And this brand new bottle of bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> Let's begin. Squiddy, this is absolutely the best day of your life. Perplexing. I could have sworn I just had this thing tuned. Yeah, it's me. It's me. I, I think this reed needs replacing. Yeah. I'll be right back. <laughs> Oh, should be all better now. Shall we continue? Why, of course. Hey, SpongeBob, look! Our new neighbor must be even shyer than we thought. Yeah. <laughs> there it is again. <laughs> Excuse me, one more time. <laughs> Now, where were we? What is going on? Are you hiding something? Ha uh, ha, Howard, I would never hide anything from you. Stand aside. <laughs> Repulsive. Somebody's got to stop these pesky bubble blowing jellyfishers. Why? Please, Howard, don't go! You're the only ray of sunshine I've had here in years! I'm sorry. It's too late, Mr. Tentacles. Oh, dear, not too now. You there. Hey. That actually was kind of fun. Maybe 
It's time I stopped being so stuffy and loosened up for a change. What the... Gotcha. <laughs> 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 I may be able to handle two lame brain boneheads, but I draw the line at three. My house. <laughs> to be true. Well, I almost had a decent neighbor. Don't worry, Squidward. We can cheer you up. Go on. Pop it. Pop it. Me? Well, at this point, what am I got to lose? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you come back here. 